Everybody's hurting and uh, getting into the windier section on Dallas Road. Um, it was very gusty. I sort of lost that pack of guys, but um, I thought the odds are she probably doesn't have a pack either. And it was just sort of a grind. Um, coming into the race, I knew that it was going to be a windy experience uh, checking the weather this morning. And I thought perhaps that'll play to my advantage, um, make it more of a strength race. I'm not really in 10K shape, so I was hoping that that was going to um, I guess help me um, make it tougher for everybody else. Maybe give me an advantage. I don't know. <laughs> but it, I guess it did. It worked well. Um, happy with my time on a slower day. It's a windy day. You, you said your personal best, I think, is 33, 35 or around. Yeah, there. yeah. And so, based on today's performance, would you suggest that this is a personal best type performance? I suppose, yeah. Um, I think I ran 33, 42. Um, when I ran 33, 35, it was also not the best conditions. So, uh, given that I ran a half last weekend, I think. I think we can adjust it to a personal best. <laughs> yeah, a winded. Uh, yeah, <laughs> wind best. adjusted, half marathon adjusted. Speaking about the, speaking of the half, you're now four for four for 2017. You won the St. Yeah. Patrick's Day 5K. I feel like the streak isn't going to continue any further, though. <laughs> that sounds like some foreshadowing you got in the Ottawa Marathon coming up on May 28th. Yeah, it would take a, a small miracle for me to win that one outright, but um, aiming for top Canadian aiming for um, a personal best time and a spot on the world championship team in London. So are you looking at mid 230s? Um, yeah, I think sub 233 um, should secure a spot at this point in time. Um, I'd be happy with that, yeah. Good. And then, uh, so you ran the uh, Scotiabank uh, last week around the Bay 30K. You're a three time winner now. Yeah. You ran a fast time. You were uh, <laughs> previously running in around 150. Yeah. And three minutes faster. Uh, what has led to this uh, newfound? What is new is old again. What is old is new again. You're fit again because you've been fit before. Yeah. What has led to it this time, Ryan? Right? Um. I think I was really fit going into Toronto Marathon in October um, and that I had to take time after that for a sacral stress fracture but I think that time off because I was so fit going into that break it was a lot easier for me to come back this time um, so it just shows that you know in the fall I was really ready to run fast it didn't happen um, and then also I think just the marathon experience itself maybe produced you know an elevated level of toughness you know like giving birth that was my baby <laughs> so now maybe I'm just like uh, able to grind through it a, a little bit better but um, even you know maybe it was also the break uh, just that full I basically did nothing at all for two and a half weeks because I couldn't do anything and uh, maybe that was a blessing just a chance for my body to completely recuperate after a tough year of training well you did great again today and uh, so good luck going forward and have a mother of a race May 28th at the Ottawa Marathon thank you so much <laughs>